think Rex Fury is behind this? Who's Rex Fury, sir? None of your beeswax. It's adult business. I am an adult. There aren't many Wii U games I like more than Rex Lego Fury City Undercover. In fact, the more I've played LEGO City in the three months since its release, the more I've liked it. And I already liked it. It has a great sense of humor, memorable characters, addictive gameplay. I mean, if you have a Wii U, you need LEGO City. And hey, if you don't have a Wii U, you can now visit LEGO City on your 3DS. Only, I mean, the weather isn't as nice. And, uh, I think, I think everyone went home. Wait, where is everybody? So how are you settling in, Chase? Great, thanks, Chief. I finished all my training and I'm ready for duty. Excellent. We're all very happy to have you here. Aren't we, Deputy Dumby? Thrilled. Obviously, bringing a place as massive as Lego City onto a handheld is going to take some compromise. Some pretty serious changes to the infrastructure. The point is, it's a different game than the Wii U version. In fact, it's kind of a prequel. That's one of the coolest things about The Chase Begins. If you like the Wii U game, this one goes kind of George Lucas on you, but like in a good way. You know, the, no trips to the Lego City Senate or anything. <laughs> As for the gameplay, well, I mean, that, that's the Jar Jar Binks of the situation. Not quite, but you get the point. The concessions made to shrink LEGO City into a handheld game take a lot away from what made it so much fun in the first place. On the Wii U, the city itself is this huge place bustling with people and traffic, just covered with shiny LEGO studs, like sprinkles on a Sunday. It's fun to just walk around and go off mission. But on the 3DS, the city's just empty. It's like, it's like someone ordered it without sprinkles, which is just, I mean, who would do that? So the, the open world appeal is gone, and in its place, you get a much more linear experience. The missions sort of flow one into the next, and they're all sort of the same. You know, beat up criminals, collect some stuff, fight a boss. And to be fair, that's, I mean, that's basically the same stuff the Wii U has, but it just has a lot more stuff. And on the 3DS, it's all very small, very linear, very bite-sized. And actually, that, that's the right move for a handheld game. Using the same city was the wrong move. Places that on the Wii U are bustling with activity are covered in tarps on the 3DS, or blocked off with boards. It's a prequel, so it makes sense technically, but it also highlights how limited the game is in comparison. Whoa. Uh, hey! I saw you on the TV. It's Natalia, right? I'm Officer Chase McCain. Hello, Chase. It's nice to see the police so quick to respond. We're busy trying to round up the escaped criminals. Of course, maybe it's not fair to compare, but it's kind of inevitable, at least when you keep the same place. What bustles with life on Wii U feels like a ghost town on the 3DS, which puts this version behind from the start. It plays well, and there's bits of the same magic that made the Wii U game so charming, but with limited voice acting, limited visibility, and limited gameplay, the chase begins. Feels like a limited experience. 